If you've been a customer of Mare's for a long time, you know that we have good quality products that we work on continuously to bring the best products we can to the security and locksmith industry. A few years ago, we decided it was time to come up with a new tool that allowed for easier drilling, easier attachment, removal, better siding, better control, and that's what we've done. And that is the new Perfect Raceway Program Tool version two. The new door core drill fixture version two will come in a sturdy, custom-made case with our phone number on the outside just in case you run into problems and you need our assistance, we'd be happy to help you. When you open it up, you'll find that you have the tool fixture, the laser targeting target, the bracket to hold the laser, and a laser that has continuous instead of momentary so that you don't have to keep the button pushed while you're at the door. You also need to be made aware that you will receive one custom drill bit. We make these specifically for this dual fixture. And the reason we make these custom is because the shank is 5 16 inch of a diameter and the drill bit is 3 8 of an inch of a diameter. This allows you to put a 3 8 inch diameter hole through the door but it also allows for you to evacuate your chips. In other words, if you had a solid 3 8 inch shank bit going through the door, it would make it difficult for you to pull back on the drill bit to take the chips out. It would bind. It may even start smoking, which we've seen before. And this will uh, preclude that from happening uh, while you're drilling your door. Now, you get one of these, you can always Purchase an extra one. If you're going to be doing mineral core doors, we highly recommend you get one for mineral core only and one for your particle wood or solid wood doors. All right, now we've gone over <clears throat> the parts that come in your kit. Let's go ahead and talk about how to load the drill bit into the tool fixture. Grab your fixture right here. You can see the bushing holes right there. Take your drill bit. From the door side clamp, this U-shaped, slide your bit down, right like that, and through the second bushing, and now your door fixture is ready to be placed on the door. After you have removed your door hardware, on the hinge position where you plan on drilling your perfect raceway hole, and the lock, and put the wheel, the, the door block, and put the door block down below to make sure that your door is not going to move. You're ready to mark the hole for where you're going to drill for the wires and the hinge that you're using. Like our ray provides a template for every hinge so that you can come to the door after you take your hinge off, place the template in position, use a scribe or a sharp instrument Mark the hole for where you're going to be putting your uh, perfect raceway hole and also the hole that goes into the frame for your wire bundle. Once you've marked this hole, you're ready to put your fixture up here. Now if you don't have a template, and the hinge manufacturer you're using does not have a template, you can figure out where that position is going to be, mark that hole, put an X there so that you can see it when, after you put the tool on the door you can see where the drill bit should start entering the door. That way you'll be in the correct position for drilling the perfect raceway and putting the wire bundle into the back part of the door so that you can service it if you need. <clears throat> Supply closet doors here at the Mare facility. And uh, as you can see, we've drilled this a few times. So we are not going to actually drill a door in this video. We're going to show you how to put the equipment on the door and how to use the equipment to get started. Now, when you place your fixture on the door, you're going to slide it in sideways like this. There are some little rubber feet right here. These little rubber bumpers are to give the door, the fixture, the proper positioning on the door. And they are a little sticky. That helps retain the fixture on the door and helps you also from not scratching your door. 
something that's very important. Now see how this slide needs to be pushed forward like that? Turn this in sideways, going past the style. Push your fixture all the way up until it's flush. You'll notice the drill bit is already loaded here. Then you pull, simply push back on these slides with your finger, just like that. See how that clamps to the door? Just like that. Now, this fixture is attached to the door very securely, up to 100 pounds of holding force. This nice little German cam here is just simply to tighten the arm so that the arm that's holding the drill bit now maintains its position. You're going to apply the bracket that holds your laser. Place your laser into the bracket with the laser point away from you towards the lock hole on the door. Of course you want to remove your hinge and you want to remove your lock. Snap this in. You put the laser in just like this. Very easy. Slide it in. Press it all the way up against the edge. Snap it down. Just like that. You're all set. The next thing you're going to want to do is put your target on the end here. This is made so that if the drill bit comes all the way through, it will not hit your target. So the clamp is slightly higher than where you want to be. Line this up. Push your laser on. Drill bit is going to come out right here. Right even with this. So if you want to change that, You simply want to, now if you can see that laser, you should be able to see it, but we will zoom in for you. There's the maintained laser point. So it's not, a, it's not a momentary, it's a maintained. Now if you want to adjust the height on this, again, undo your lever here. Adjust it to where you want it, and tighten it down, and you can begin drilling. That's it. You drill the door. You can leave the laser on while you're drilling, for a visual, or you can turn it off. It's up to you. I would probably leave it on. Now, removing the fixture from the door is also very easy. Place your hand down here to remove the laser. Pull this out. Pull it in towards you. Push this up. It takes it right off. You're all set. So take the door and the drill bit off the door. These little knobs right here, push forward, push forward, and you're off the door. Just like that. Very simple, very quick, very easy to use. Have fun. You'll also notice on this drill bit, once you have it through the door, once you've drilled your hole, we've already pre-drilled these, once you drill your hole, you will notice that right here, there's a hole in the tip of the bit. You can attach your wire down at the lock prep, pull your wire all the way through the door so that you can fish it right through with this drill bit. Custom made just for this purpose. One other thing that we need to go over is the service loop. Now you can drill the service loop before you drill your door, or you can drill it after. It's recommended that you do it whichever way suits you best. The service loop is this larger diameter hole where you will be putting your, that's the one in the center, again we drill this door a bunch of times, you'll be putting it that's where you'll be putting your connections. Now, different manufacturers or different hinges have different size service loops that they recommend. The Mare hinge is a 5 8 inch. That's how we had it burn tested in a 3 hour burn test. And that's what we specify because it's in our UL file. So, you would put your connections in there, wire up your hinge, and you're done. But you can drill prior 
or after you drill the door. We find it's a little easier to drill it first, but you have to be careful that when you're coming in with your drill bit, you come in at the proper angle towards the lock prep so that you're not drilling down at the back of a hole and it gets you offset, off center. I want to thank you for your participation in the Perfect Raceway program and your purchase of the Mare door core drill fixture, version 2. If you have any questions or you need additional assistance, please don't hesitate to call us. Our number is right here on your case. We've been doing this for a very long time and we'd be happy to help you anytime you need our help. Thank you again.